Using water and electricity from wind farms to produce hydrogen, a German facility then combines it with carbon dioxide. Dietrich Brockhagen, chief executive of the nonprofit group behind the project, explains the process. So you have the two feedstock coming in here. One is carbon dioxide, and on the other hand, you have hydrogen. And those two are then here mixed together to synthesis gas, and out of this is then synthetically formed ecorosine in this plant. The amount of fuel this plant can produce beginning early next year is small, just eight barrels a day or about 335 gallons of jet fuel, enough to fill up one small passenger plane every three weeks. But the company and its partners say the goal is to show the process is technologically doable and could be scaled up if demand goes up. Our mission of Ineratech is that we will build our plants all over the world. Wherever you have access to cheap electricity, where you can harvest solar, where you can harvest wind. This can be in South Africa, this can be in South America, this can be in the MENA region, this can be in Australia. Wherever you can build up renewable energy capacities and store the renewable energy then in these liquid fuels and utilize it in existing infrastructures. In 2019, fuel consumption of commercial airlines worldwide reached 95 billion gallons, according to the International Air Transport Association. Germany's Environment Minister Sven Scholz attended the ceremony for the new plant. And this project is very, very important because it shows that climate neutrality in 2045 is possible also in aviation. We have all the knowledge, we have all the technology we need to make uh, flying uh, sustainable uh, with uh, e-fuels, with e-kerosene. What about cost? Climate analyst Falco Uckerd, who's not involved with the project, weighs in. Through cheap solar mainly, um, it, it can be possible in the future to produce uh, e-fuels that are as cheap as fossil fuels today. The company has not yet said how much it plans to charge its first customer, German airline Lufthansa. Mariama Diallo, VOA News.